Hey, so for people who might know where I live when lockdown and I'm currently losing it because I'm normally, I'm normally a homebody. I like to stay at home, but if I'm losing it, surely other people who are in lockdown must be losing it too. So I thought I would make a video on like things to do at home when you're locked down or just in general, like things to do at home. But you know, my channel's kind of going through a midlife crisis and I'm thinking like I kind of want to post different things and kind of try out what I like filming. So yeah, you'll probably be seeing a few random videos here and there, but I kind of want to test the waters, kind of want to see what happens. I just thought I would put that out there as well. Anyway, so let's just go into the video. So first things first, it's online shopping. Um, I'm, I swear I'm an addict. I'm a shopaholic, but you know, I just love putting things in my cart because I'm just too broke to buy them and just see how much it comes to second clean your room like i feel like we just spend so much time in our room and my room generally reflects my mental state so it's just good for your mental health so kind of going off the room theme decorate your room um i just got so bored in my room so i stuck some vines and some photos on the wall I feel like this is such a good use of my time. Literally, my closet can be cut down in half. So fifth thing to do is restyling your clothes. Literally, I swear everyone probably has one thing that they find in the back of their closet that they never wear, and then they find a new way to wear it. And that's literally what I did with this white shirt. I never used to wear it, and now I want to wear it. Six, start pinning your dream closet. Like literally, I got a shoe obsession. As you can tell, I can't really afford most of these shoes but it's fun you know make bold choices literally winged eyeliner is probably not bold enough for some people but for me i couldn't do it to save my life okay guys so this is really fun to do just search up sneha ramakrishna and you know click on the videos and just, just kind of stalk her let me know what you think comment down below so chuck on a face mask i literally love using them they just feel so nice for the skin Again, to pamper yourself, take a bath. I never take baths, but like, literally, I just feel like it's such a good time to just contemplate your life decisions. So for some reason, I find painting my nails very therapeutic, but frustrating at the same time, because then they just don't dry properly if I like smudge it or anything, but yeah. So recently I've been really into skincare. Um, you know, when I'm 50, I want to look 30. So I kind of wanted to try this myself because I never really do anything with the pictures I took. So there's this ongoing joke in my family that I kill plants, but I've managed to make this survive for months right now. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty proud of this photo column, but it's kind of in the room decor video coming soon. Okay, so this has been my daily routine straight after lunch, just going into a food coma. Okay, so I feel like this is a good one if you're like me and have a lot of anxiety taking pictures in public. So journaling is something I've been wanting to get into again, I just stopped for some reason. I feel like podcasts is like such a good way to like get information and be like kind of socially aware with everything. Okay, so documentaries. I freaking love true crime documentaries, but I do tend to watch historical ones sometimes, but true crime is the main one. I highly recommend The Ripper. Everyone just try and discover new music. I feel like that's the best thing that came out of the first lockdown. Like, I feel like I grew my music's taste so much. So, I love learning languages just, to, just for fun. And here's me trying to count to 10 in Portuguese. <laughs> Not to brag, but I feel like I discovered a new talent of painting. But, you know, I'm just pretty proud of myself. Never thought a day will come where I will be dancing to TikTok dances, but it's pretty fun. So yeah, highly recommend. So I've been trying to do the splits for a while now, and I was like, what better time to do it than now? So here's me trying to attempt this tutorial. So I don't have a video for this one because I don't know what trend to try. TikTok is like full of trends. I saw that like people were feeding their dogs lemon. I think that was a while back, but I still want to do it. So I might do that. Okay, I feel like it has to be said, just catch up on work. I know it's all fun and games when you're at home, 
but just try and catch up your work you know you won't regret it now i wasn't a big reader when i was younger and like trust me i haven't read a book in years but now i'm like just trying to start up you know reading again okay so this is just something i do on the daily just talk to myself and pretend i'm a youtuber you know it's fun but this is something that i've like aimed to get better at because the only thing i can do is literally just straighten my hair and my hair's just gotten so much heat damage from it okay so bucket list i just feel like it's such a nice cute concept that i've never been able to get around to this is again something i've tried to do but my body just physically cannot pull an all-nighter so what better way to get over being alone than to call someone call your friends so recently i've been obsessed with these crochet plushies and i really want to try them out okay this is gonna sound so lame but trust me it's so fun like um i remember memorizing i think two verses like a few years ago and now i'm back kind of going off learning the periodic song learning how to rap just sounds so cool okay so i feel like a lot of people don't know this but some of these world records are actually kind of achievable so daydreaming is something i do a lot of um i mean it does keep me occupied not gonna lie but it's not very productive i swear the amount of times i get notifications that my phone storage isn't enough same thing just with laptops i've got so many files that i just don't organize into folders at least so i need to do that make a to-do list um for me it's basically making a to-do list of what i want to do after i get out of lockdown but for you it could just be anything for me in lockdown i feel like i don't achieve anything in a day so making a daily goal of like drinking enough water is one achievable goal if you're like me and quit learning an instrument because i was just dumb pick that instrument up and start playing i feel like a lot of people don't do this i mean if you do then i don't do this but like i feel like it's just as important as taking a photo so reminisce, reminisce on the good times. So I really like baking. I mean, at the end of the day, you get to eat something delicious after. So going on walks is something that I've definitely learned to love this lockdown, especially because we've got a dog now. So he uh, motivates me to get out of the house. If you lack motivation, please do this literally getting ready like putting on clothes like i'm going outside it just gives me so much motivation okay so i tend to post on social media just so i get my notifications to blow up just for fun i don't know why i do it it's just fun so i see so many people having these little aesthetic backyard picnics and you know I would really want to try it one day. I really want to try living that Pinterest life. And lastly, fix your sleep schedule. I know it's tempting to party all night, but I think sleep's really important. 